one of the projects that she's had are, um, in an ongoing way around this question is this concept of the debt visualization. And by the way, any of you are eligible to sign up for one of these by appointment. She's offering these to anyone while the exhibition runs. I mean, the, the interesting thing was how um, right away when we started talking, um, Laurel went straight to this sort of boundary between the two spaces and considered this to be sort of like a border that she couldn't cross right away. And when she, um, I just asked her to like go through it anyway. And when she went in, um, like the ground was really cold and she couldn't see the walls. Like they kept kind of wavering and flickering in and out of, of perspective. And, um, and it was like, like different forces were at work in there. And, um, yeah, like the ceiling was missing, she could see the sky, um, and things just felt really, really out of control. And um, like we just spent probably like 45 minutes like really investigating like what's possible in that space. So I asked her like, is there anything that you'd want to do in there? Do you see anything? And there was just, she's all alone in the space. Like I didn't tell her she was alone. She, she was automatically all alone in the space. And um, so she picked up a chair and she threw it and it just kind of perpetually moved forward. But because the wall, there weren't really any walls that she could see, it just sort of went forever into space. And so it just became this really interesting metaphor for like, really, I think, you know, her feelings about debt. Um, I'm trying to think of what else was, was there. I mean, there was this moment that was so fascinating when um, I asked her like if she wanted to like understand what was underneath, like what was inside of the walls. And if she would want to like scrape away the walls and see what was behind them or what she would do. And she said, well, I have this like sort of dull piece of wood that I'm just going to sort of jam in if I can like sort of scrape away a chunk of the wall. So she started to do that and she just said that it would just seem like it would go forever. And then all of a sudden she like jammed it in and like pulled away a big chunk of the wall and then the whole wall wanted to fall down. But her response was like, wait, am I actually responsible to keep the building together or should I just let the walls fall down? And all of these like little moments um, that seem, you know, to be just these, I don't know, this, this Sort of unhinged uh, visualization to me means so much in relation to the structure of the grid of debt. Um, like you know, being alone in a dark space where you don't understand the rules that are that you're governed by. Um, so yeah, I thought it was really really useful. And so we decided to kind of close that area off and make that the unconscious space. Um, so it's cold. There's a chair that has been thrown at the wall. Um, you know, the, the walls are supposed to be soft and fog, and, you know, it's like as if, it's as if it's not there. It's like a room that's, that's a room, but you could totally exist here without ever knowing that it's there. 